friends welcome back to another video on android development in this video we will learn how we can enable contextual action mode here is the example of the contextual action mode when we long click on any items our contextual action mode is enabled when we click on any item let's say i click on the delete our delete task will be performed and let's say i click on the share our share task will be performed so let's create this First of all, we have to create two vector assets. So right click on the drivable folder, new and select the vector asset. Now first we have to add the share icon. So change the name, IC share and change the color of this icon. Let's say I select the white color and click on choose next and finish. Again right click on the drive and select the vector asset. Now this time I select the delete. Type here delete and select this one. Press OK. Now change the title and change the background color if you want to change. Click on the next and click on the finish. OK. Now go to the activity main.xml. Here we have to change the text view into the button and change the ID. Let's say I type it BTN. Now change the text. I type it contextual action mode. okay now we have to create the menu so go to the resource right click on this new and android resource let's say i type menu and change the value here we have to add the items so type items give the id let's say i type delete no type the title let's say i type it delete and icon and select the ic delete now close it now again add the item give the id not give the title let's say i type it share and select the icon ic share now close it now go to our main activity first initialize the button private button now initialize in on create method btn find view by id and button now we have to set a long click listener on this button btn dot set on long click listener new on long click listener you can set a simple click listener but i am going to use this set on long click listener so first we have to create the method for contextual action mode so type here action mode dot callback and type this method so let's say i give the name contextual action mode is equal to new action mode dot callback method so here are four override method first one is on create method on pre mode and on action item clicked last one is on destroy action mode so first here we so first create the action mode variable so action mode action mode first we have to define it null so inside this long click listener we will check the condition if action mode is not equal to null then we have to return the false mean it is already working so otherwise we have to call the method this contextual action mode this one 
so in else condition we can say action mode is equal to start action mode and pass this method name this one okay now in on create method we have to inflate the menu inflator that is available on this action mode so just inflate the out so menu inflator menu inflator is equal to here we will pass action mode because it available on this action mode so pass the mode dot get menu inflator by using the menu inflator we can inflate r dot menu dot menu the last parameter is also menu okay now we will set a click listener on these items so go to the on action item click so here we will create the switch item dot get item id and here we will create the cases so case r dot id dot let's say delete so here we will show a toast message you can perform any task so in text let's say i type deleted and return the true now the second case r dot id dot share and simply show a toast message now in this text we can say shared and return to you also we change it into true and let's run the application it's fully running let's long click on this button here you can see our contextual action mode is enabled now Let's click on this delete icon here you can see toast message is available deleted now click on the share okay now our click event is also working so if you have any question please ask me in the comment section please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel thank you